Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D Pay, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, setting up pressure advance and then also run current on my printers that are running Clipper. I've noticed first that on one of my printers, the stepper motors were running really hot. So when I investigated, it looked like I had the run current set too high. Um, and that was, that was a relatively easy fix. So I found this set of instructions or on design website. Basically what you're doing, you're looking for your peak uh, current for your motor and then multiplying it by seven, uh, 0 0.707 and then rounding down to the nearest 0 0.1. What I've done is I've gone ahead and updated my setting spreadsheet that anybody can use. So you can go ahead and calculate this on your own. So basically, you just go in here, put in the current, and right down here is what the run current should be. So on my case, I'm running an Ender 5 Plus, and the smaller X stepper motor is 0.84 amps. And so the run current should be 0.5. I had it set at 0.8, which can always make it run hot. The Y motor is a one amp and so that should be set at 0.7 so if i go over here and look at my configuration what i'm doing is i go in here and just update the run current so very simple like i said that calculation I'll put it in my spreadsheet and there'll be a link to the spreadsheet in the video description Next thing I want to cover is pressure advance. Article linked in the video description shows a good example of what pressure advance. See it visually, it's this idea here where we expect our filament line as it's being deposited on the bed to be consistent throughout. And what actually happens is pressure needs to build up, so we under extrude initially. And then when it gets to a corner or the end of a line, there's actual over extrusion. And pressure advance tries to mitigate this to again get that more consistent line. To start off with, follow the instructions over on Clipper documentation. And there's a couple commands you need to run. And first command is a setup command that uh, changes the acceleration and changes how it does corners and that'll emphasize the effect of the pressure and then you're going to run a command based on whether you're using a direct drive or a Bowden setup. I have this over in my spreadsheet again so right here the initial command you have to run and then you run either one of these commands depending on what you have. So right now on my printer and what I'll do is I'll use my spreadsheet. I've gone ahead and run these commands in Clipper. And once I run these commands, test is ready to start. And so what I've done is sent a test square over to my printer. So that's in the process of printing now. So while we're waiting for to print, I have values in yellow here that it's possible for you to change. The start value is based on the start that's used in either the direct drive command or the Bowden command. And that's the advanced start right now, it's up to zero, so I'll leave it at zero. The direct drive factor is 0 0.005. And again, that's suggested default from the Clipper documentation. And the suggested default for the Bowden setup is 0 0.02. The value you'll need to enter is the height of the square meaning the height where the corner looks the best. So I finished printing my square. And now what I'm doing <clears throat> is I'm looking at these corners and trying to determine about where the corner looks the best. You can see down here how the corner's rounded and almost bulges out. Right up and about here, I'm just going to take my calipers, zero them out, and measure up. 
to about here, I think. So that's out 22.54. So we'll go back over my spreadsheet and put that number in. We're going to put in 22.54. And so the pressure advance for my direct drive should be 0.1127. So to finish this out, we need to go ahead and put that into our configuration. I've gone ahead and opened up my configuration for my printer. I want to scroll down the extruder. That's right here. And I want to go ahead and add in the pressure advance. I'm going to go ahead, Ruger, add in. Go ahead and enter in the value from the spreadsheet. That 1127. We're going to do point one one two seven. Hit save and restart it is entered into my system. I've went ahead and saved the new value, but I'm going to go ahead here in the console and type restart, and that'll clear the test state and the initial settings I put in. So that way that totally sets the printer. So again, it's in a ready state for the next print. So that's how you update the pressure advance. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'll also I'll put in some of the references I found in the video description, as well as a link to my spreadsheet. Just to show this one more time, I'm using the spreadsheet. I don't have it editable for all users. All you need to do, though, is go up to File and hit Make a Copy. And then you'll have a copy that you can edit and use for your calculations. Hope that helps. Again, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I really appreciate your time today. And hopefully, you enjoy, if you enjoy what I'm doing, you can give me a like or subscribe. Also, I'm always looking for ideas for videos. Thank you again for your time. Hope you have a great night and week.